Diana, have you practiced giving birth yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Can you imagine how creepy that would be? I'm at home. <laughs> I mean, I do have a puppy now, so that's amazing. That's creepy. That's amazing. <laughs> but um, no, but it, what has been horrifying is um, people have been telling me these stories about what happens, and I now not really question whether I show. want to have children. <laughs> I've heard every horror story that is known to man about childbirth, <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jonathan, how did, uh, how did they embrace you? you? You were the newcomer. You're the newbie. I do, I actually, I, forgive me, I do have to point out Leah Michelle not being here. I totally forgot about that. Unfortunately, she couldn't be here tonight. Um, but the, she does send her love, and thank you for all the support. Again, I apologize for that. And you reminded me, because obviously, you're buddies. We're buddies, <laughs> totally buddies. Um, I guess you don't know really what to expect when you come on to a show, especially a show that's been as successful and such a phenomenon as this one. You don't know what you're gonna deal with as far as like onset drama and ego and attitude. But the thing about it was everyone on this show is so hardworking and genuine and passionate and has their feet so firmly connected to the ground that it was so inspiring to come into this company and feel totally embraced and know that like this huge, in, in the middle of this huge perfect storm of this phenomenon of the show is a group of people that are just like so humble and down to earth. God, we have oh, a thank you. time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He obviously hasn't worked too much with us. No. <laughs> Keep dreaming, kiddo. Yep. <laughs> um, where's Puck's mohawk? Um, the the, the <clears throat> Twitter world. All, is all, all we will say is that Puck is in an episode trying out a new look. <laughs> so do you like this or mo yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Because Mark has been begging us since the day we shot that pilot, I think, to let him, you know, he auditioned with that mohawk, which was his mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we loved it and we kept it in, but he might, it might come back. We might, you know, we might, we're mixing it up there. Um, Kurt's going to be getting a boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> what kind of guy is Kurt looking for? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know too. Well, it's a very sweet it's a very sweet thing about that character because that character and his father that that Yes. And you know, Brad Falchuk just writes the hell out of those scenes and um, it's based on my father and myself. And I was a very odd child and that I was sort of out of the closet at 14 and proud and popular and it was and I grew up in Indiana. So it was not everyone's experience. But you know, when I was growing up, and this is a real thing for me, when I was growing up, I mean, I had Paul Lind and Charles Nelson Reilly. Um, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and, Paul, Paul Lind was the center square, right? Yes, he was. And, and those, were the, those were the gay people that my parents knew. Those were the only gay people that my parents knew. And you know, with the Kurt, character, I think there's such an opportunity and I think Chris in that character becomes so iconic because he's proud and he's popular and he struggles but he has such dignity and I've never really seen that on network television particularly. I'm not interested in seeing that kid be gay bashed. I'm not interested in seeing him being picked on. I'm interested in him winning and him being popular and him being a survivor and him being a role model to so many gay kids who watch that show who can see that character and say, I can be that. Um, and, so, and, I, and I didn't have that, so that's very important to me. I mean, you know, he certainly struggles, but yeah, he's gonna have a boyfriend who's gonna be very different, but I think equally as fabulous and, and equally as, yeah, and I want them to become the power couple of the school, and they will be. <laughs> That's what I want. All I ask is that I'm the better looking of the two. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, and speaking about gays that aren't on the show yet, um, Rachel's fathers, will we ever see them? Um, I don't know, we, Brad and Ian and I talk about that all the time. Not this season, um, uh, not this season, you know. Um, and we've never met them, I think that's a great surprise. I think you want to hold that a little bit, you know. <laughs> well, he's on the show, but he's not Rachel's um, dad. He's at, he, we're filming it right now with Joss Whedon, who's so incredibly talented. And tell, t talk about him. Talk about Neil? Talk about Neil. Um, well, unfortunately, his first day of work was last Monday, right after the Oscars that he sang on, so he was, like, so tired. <laughs> um, but uh, he plays uh, a high school rival of mine. He was two years older than me, and he uh, got all the girls, got all the solos, and I hated him. <laughs> and now he is a member of the school board, and he's going to try to bring Glee Club down. Like that hasn't happened a million times, huh? <laughs> um, so again, I have to wave my flag like I am the captain of the ship, and I uh, will fight whoever comes near me. Um, but it, it, we sing uh, two duets together. Uh, I can't say what it is. One is an Aerosmith song. And, uh, and the other is a Billy Joel song. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, Jema. That, OK. <laughs> I watched the episode at home. And when he breaks up with you, ah, oh, man. Where did, where did you go? I mean, you just, it was amazing. Maybe I broke up with him. <laughs> Yeah, I heard, I heard girl power. <laughs> um, no, you know, I, I do think there was a little bit of, of, of her doing it as well. It wasn't, it wasn't him dumping her, I don't think, mm -hmm. if that's what you were saying. But um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think she's being smart. She's a smart girl. And um, I don't know, I, I think that was really well written. And I was really thankful for the way that was written so that she wasn't doting on him the whole time. She was actually being smart and courageous in that, too. Have you spoken to people with OCD and everything else and <laughs> germ-phobic and? I have. P people come up to me that have issues and start telling me about their issues. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't shake your hand. They, they don't <laughs> shake my hand, no. <laughs> no, and, and people ask to take pictures with me and say, oh, can you pretend like you don't want to touch me in this picture? <laughs> <laughs> Touch them, you know, so it's fine. That is, that's pretty brilliant. Yeah. That, that's really brilliant. Um, Jessalyn, you get to be really evil. That was very like Joan Crawford, Betty Davis, <laughs> and she just like appears. And you yeah. are evil. <laughs> How much do you like being evil? <laughs> um, as Jamie says, it's very subjective. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I have Ryan to thank for launching my career of evil. And um, I, I'll make a meal out of any evil moment. I, I absolutely adore it. It's <laughs> as fun as it looks, yeah. But I, I mean, that's the great, the fun thing about Jane and, and Jessalyn, you know, those parts could, in lesser hands, be completely gorgons. But what we really try and do in the writing, particularly, <laughs> is, you know, with Jessalyn's character, we have some great stuff coming up where, you know, and we've done it with Jane to great effect, where you really see damage that makes someone hard, and you see a vulnerability. And I think they're both so talented, and they do such a great job with it, and it's hard. Um, to be on a show that is so optimistic and be the dark force um, and not, for the most part, get to join in the song and dance. But um, I, the show would not be what it is without it, I think. But, I mean, that's always, to, be, to me, been the great fun of the show is it's that and then it has the snark, it has the dark, you know, so it's, you know, it's for kids, it's for their parents. I think it sort of links everything together.